Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are starting week two of the Thousand Pages Readathon vlog. Do bear in mind the reason why I have such a red face is because I've just walked home from work. So it is Monday the 27th of January and like I said it's the start of a new week. I have worked all day today so I didn't have time to um, like check in with you this morning. Um, but yeah, I've just walked home. Like I said, hence my really red face because it's really cold outside and it's quite warm inside. Um, just got in. It's probably about... It is half past six right now. Um, and yeah, just got in. I'm going to be filming a video. <laughs> Gonna have to excuse my face again. So if you watched my um, disappointing reads of 2019, you'll know why my face looks like this because I'm about to film. Uh, because I need to film that for this week. And then I have to edit my first week's vlog, uh, which is going to be a long one, guys. So I can only apologise. Who knows if this week's will be as long. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to do that. I am starting um, The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter today. I've actually started, I've only read like nine pages there, I read it before I went to work, I read a little bit this morning. Um, and yeah, this is about two sisters um, and there was an attack on their family home 28 years previously and it's about um, one of the sisters becoming a lawyer and then her figuring out, I think she something happens in the hometown again and it's about crime and that sort of thing. This sounds really interesting, this will be my second Karen Slaughter book of the month, whether I finish it this month or not is a different question but we might do. Um, and I didn't really like the other one I read this month, in fact I DNF'd it so hopefully this one will be better. Um, but yeah, so um, I will really quickly recap um, where I was at the end of last week. So of the seven prompts for the um, Thousand Pages Readathon, I, um, and I'll link Victoria's announcement down below if you don't have a clue what I'm talking about, although by the time this goes up it will be over. Um, but I managed to post my TBR, which was, that was the dishwasher, that was weird. Um, I managed to post my TBR um, at the start of the month, or start of the readathon. I I managed to post my TBR at the start of the readathon. Then I finished a book uh, because I completed Her Every Fear by Peter Swanson, which I had started before the readathon started. So I'd read 200 pages of that. Then I completed, or I started a new book, which is the third prompt, um, which was Call the Midwife by Jennifer Worth. And I actually finished that one right at the end of yesterday. Um, and so I have now officially read 521 pages for this readathon, which means if I can read this, I believe, how long is this book? Uh, this one is 500 pages exactly. So if I read this, I would have completed the thousand pages. I also need to do a reading sprint at some point this week. And I also need to take a picture of my reading space. So I'm going to probably do that at some point. I haven't quite worked it out yet, but I will obviously let you know. So when I finish this one, I will probably not immediately go on to Dissolution, um, which is the third book that I picked for my TBR. Again, I'll link my TBR down below for you, but um, I'm probably going to start on my February TBR, which again, I'll link down below because that will be up by the time you watch this one. Um, so I'm probably just going to start my TBR after this, but obviously that's provided I actually read this and this is not a DNF as well. I've heard good things, so I hope not, but yeah. So yeah, like I said, this is the start of the vlog. I hope that you have enjoyed last week's if you watched. Um, and yes, I'm really excited to keep reading and I'm going to go film now, have a shower, edit a vlog, then AJ will be home about nine. I'm going to make spaghetti bolognese for dinner tonight, which I'm excited about because I love a spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I shall see you guys very soon. Hey guys, so it is now, what are we now? Half past seven. So we've had like an hour. I have managed to film a video. I've had a shower, as you can tell. And I'm just sitting down now um, to edit my vlog. Um, I have an hour and a half worth of footage, so that will be fun. Um, I don't know, I've never edited a vlog before because I've never done a vlog before so it's probably going to be really long and I'm probably just going to like mash all the bits together but we'll soon find out, I hope that you enjoy it anyway um, but yeah, I'm excited, hope that you love it um, but yeah, so I filmed my video, so I've actually filmed now all my videos for the until the end of the week which means that I can just edit today um, I think I mentioned at the end of my last week's vlog that my friend is coming over was meant to be coming over today she's now coming over tomorrow so um 
that's fine I've got tonight to edit and yeah and then AJ will be home in a couple of hours so let's get editing hey guys it is now Wednesday and it is approximately half past, nine, uh, half past seven even in the evening. I haven't vlogged in the last couple of days because my mental health has been a little bit shit. Um, I've had a bit of a difficult time. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better today. I've just not been very well. And I, yeah, it's just been a bit of a difficult one. Um, and I haven't really read anything. So really updating you was a bit of a problem. Um, but I am currently reading... The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. I'm approximately, what am I, 22 pages in. I really haven't read very much of this. Although, something very big has just happened and I am shook. <laughs> I um, tried to read I tried to read a little bit of this at work on my lunch break. But um, people are generally around so I don't always get to it. But yeah, so that is what I am doing. Um, I have managed to get a couple of videos up this week. So... My first ever vlog went up, so if you've watched that, thank you so much. Um, I got some int like I got quite a few views on it quite quickly actually, and I was quite impressed. It's a really long video, so I'm really sorry about that, but that's just the way it is. So we've just ordered some food, and we are currently, um, well, AJ is currently upstairs, and um, I'm just gonna edit tomorrow's video, no, Friday's video, and um, yeah get tomorrow's video scheduled and ready to go um but yeah so that is what i'm doing currently because i've been at work all day so i don't think this vlog is going to be as long as the last one um but that's okay um i did get some books from some people that i don't know who gave them to me because i um i they didn't have notes in but i got blubber by judy bloom i got um, a book about Chernobyl, I can't remember the full title of it, but I'll put a picture up here, which was, um, is a non-fiction book uh, by Adam Higginbotham, I think his name is, and I'm really excited to read it. And I also got Only Ever Yours by Louise O'Neill, which I saw on Nicole's channel, talking about the oldest books on her channel that she's owned. Um, so I'm really interested because I feel like she's got it too, so it could be good. Um, yeah, I'm interested to read all of them though, so thank you so much to whoever did send them, because like I said, there was no note. Um, yeah, so today has been a bit of a long day, been at work all day like I said. Um, I'm in earlier tomorrow but I do finish a little bit earlier which is good, it's only 5 o'clock as opposed to half 5. I haven't actually had my friend round that was meant to be coming on Monday and then Tuesday um, yet but she's meant to be coming tomorrow now so we'll see if that happens. Um, and we can finally, you know, meet up, that would be great. Um, but yeah, I think... Um, yeah things have just kind of got away with us this week but we'll soon hopefully catch up with it um and that's how everything has gone so far so i will catch up with you when i've actually read something um which who knows when that will be <laughs> but yes also i will um i'm sure have pl so um earlier on aj picked me up from work and i will just pop in a clip i'll probably do like a speeded up time lapse video where i show you our route because i did actually vlog the back, on the back of the bike the journey um and i really enjoyed the footage so yes i'll pop that on now hey guys so i haven't vlogged in ages but i'll catch up with you properly later we're on the way home hello we're off
guys, it is now Thursday and it is, sorry I'm eating a mint, it's Thursday and it is like 6pm I think, um, I can't remember that, I have a mint in my mouth and now like I'm basically dribbling, so I can't actually remember the last time I vlogged, um, I think it might have been last night, briefly, so basically I haven't really talked about it too much but I've been having a pretty difficult mental health time recently um, over the last sort of few days. I think part of it um, is obviously recently I moved um, and it's a new place and it's a new like environment and I'm away from my dad and my dog <laughs> and it feels a bit strange and I think I'm a little bit homesick and a little bit like missing my dog. I've obviously said before in other videos that my dog died um, in December and so that's been pretty tough um, and I just feel a bit unsure um, I also feel really bad about cancelling plans and I've had plans with one of my bridesmaids who is so lovely and we basically had planned to do some workouts and stuff at home because we've joined the gym together and I've just been a bit rubbish about it and I've like put it off because I just don't feel mentally there I'm going to just turn around oh hang on let me hold it there and um yeah and then like I don't know I just it's just been a bit tough you know um I also was really really nervous about my reading vlog going up um, because if you didn't know I'll link down below I did a reading vlog last week for my which was my first ever reading vlog and it was really really long it's like an hour and ten minutes and I was really nervous I was like no one's gonna watch it there's no point like I'm gonna people are gonna be like why would I even watch that like what would I do and I've had so many people comment and give me just lovely feedback and it's so it just feels amazing honestly so a massive thank you to everybody who's watched it um and who's commented and who's like sent me love and shared it and stuff because honestly i've been so anxious about it this week like honest and it's just i think partly that's the reason why i'm so nervous like i just or just like anxious like, all the time um i also just think generally like the, the other day i just felt really anxious for no apparent reason um but honestly I have such a wonderful friends. I've had so many of you reach out to me or like see how I'm doing. Um, I can see myself in my glasses reflected which is weird. Um, yeah so many of you have just like reached out to me to see how I'm doing and just yeah you've just been so sweet and um, I also think it's because I have really not read very much and I've been in a bit of a reading slump which has not happened to me in a really long time um at the moment when I sit down and can like when I sit down and read and like plan time to read I do read quite a bit um but I just don't find myself doing it I am I'll give you a bit of a reading update let me get my get my phone that's not my phone let me get my book um I uh, I'm still reading The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter and I'm absolutely loving it I am currently 80 pages in and honestly I'm loving it I am really conscious so um I will shout out a booktuber that I love here so um if you go and watch uh Nicole from Beautiful Chaos of Books who most of you probably watch already but she's wonderful and she um let me try it up there she um I know she didn't love this one very much but she said it was because she was in a really bad space or reading space for it at the time so I've been really wanting to be like what be careful because I don't want that to happen to me um, I don't want to read this and then not like it very much because as you probably all know as well I DNF'd uh, a Karen Sorter book at the beginning of the month and I just didn't like it and I didn't want this to be a, th a thing again because obviously I loved Karen Sorter's first book I read and I didn't want that to be like this is the only one you love so but I am 90 pages into this one 80 pages into this one and I am absolutely loving it so far um it's just really really good i yeah i'm loving it i read a little bit more on my lunch break at work today and that was great so yeah um tonight i'm i've like i said i've cancelled my plans which 
is a bit annoying. Um, I possibly am going to have a FaceTime date with Leanne and lovely wife Helen because they're so lovely and they messaged me, they messaged me yesterday because I've been feeling really rubbish and they knew I had and they've just been so lovely and just really supportive and they were like what are you doing tonight and can we talk to you so I think I'm going to do that. Um, I did have a video to edit tonight but I think I'm just going to give myself the night off to be honest because I'm just not feeling in the mood for it. Um, yeah. So there's a thing. <laughs> I will probably check in with you later. I do intend to read a little bit more tonight. So hopefully I will because I'm enjoying it, like I said, so much. And I think if I sit down and actually read it, I'll enjoy it. I just don't want to, like, force it. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to do that. Uh, I've scheduled my video for tomorrow. So um, when you're watching this, that one will be up, which will be my February... No, which will be... My most disappointing books of 2019, that's due up tomorrow. And then I have a video going up on Saturday, which will be my TBR video, which I'm very excited about. And then I can hopefully, once I've read this one, I can start reading that. So yeah, like I said, again, thank you so, so much for all your love and support on my first reading vlog, because honestly, it makes my day every time I see a comment come up about it, because yeah, I spent a long time on that and I loved filming it. Um, I just wasn't sure how it was going to go down but you've been so lovely so thank you again this one is definitely not going to be as long one because I didn't check in for like two of the days and two because I'm I don't really have any unboxings to do so or like Primark calls <laughs> um, but yeah so I will check in with you again a little bit later on okay I'm actually going to leave all, all of this <laughs> when I try I like this angle so hang on my hands in the way don't hold it that way. Mm -hmm. It's better. <laughs> Literally leaving this whole thing in. <laughs> You're <not> preening. How <laughs> <laughs> so kind do of people even do this? You just talk. I talk all the time. You have to, oh, Jesus, my hair. I have a. What are you doing? Get Helping you with me. your hair. I don't need that. I'm helping you, you peek over the top of things. No, it's fine, AJ. Just... Hey guys, welcome back to Simone's channel. I'm AJ. I'm back after nine hours. No, 13. 13 hour shift. 13 hour shift. Hmm. Where I say. Woof. <laughs> <laughs> Thank oh. you so much for your lovely comments on her last vlog, on our joint possible vlog where I had a debut in it as well. It Thanks, was guys. very, very lovely. And, yeah, so many more comments. Actually kind of surprised. You were surprised. I was surprised. About the number of people who, who would watch an hour-long vlog. Um, I think we kind of underestimated the you, appeal you guys. a bit. Yeah, you guys. Know. Absolutely. You're the best. Every single one of you. And, um, yeah, and I don't vlog ever. In fact, I never show my face on camera, so this is kind of like a... Kind of like a thing. And all my videos are super heavily edited, so if I make a mistake, I'm like, delete that. No, we gotta and leave the fun parts in. I have to leave in. all the fun parts in, especially when I'm like... <laughs> Leaving that in. You know, yeah. Also, it's easier to edit, because you don't have to edit. It's, it's true. Apparently, we're just going to go for one straight run. Pretty much. Um, so, the thing is, when you work the hours that we do, as I'm sure many of you do, sometimes it's a bit difficult to stay on top of what you're going to have in the evening. Dinner-wise, he's talking about, not just like, in general. It's true. I know. Oh, I can kiss him. Mm -hmm. We're not going to gross you out, okay? Um, I do have a neck, I promise. It's under there somewhere. What's wrong? What is happening? I don't know. I think, my, I think my t shirt is riding up a bit, so I'm like. Let me pull it on. Hold on. I'm going to dress you. Ready? Has it actually rolled up? <laughs> yes, right. it has. That's my t shirt you actually grabbed. Now you have a neck. That's uh, true. Yeah, I have a neck. Um, You're making people seasick. <laughs> <laughs> like jogging around. No, you know your hands annoy. It's fine. You Steady should... cam. That's what it is. Uh, yeah, so we don't know what we're going to have for dinner. Um, what would you have on a very busy... What would they have? What do you have? What do you don't want? Know. Don't know. We're yeah. back to the question. What are you going to have? I do have another question for everybody, though. It's not dinner related. Although, if you have recipes and ideas for food, then please do let us know because um, we are always looking for food ideas. Just looking um, for food? Yeah, generally. 100%. Um, no, we want to know what you like to watch on like Netflix and oh. like TV ideas because... So, we have lots of things we want to watch, 
but generally we, they're things that we watch separately so like stuff that either I've already seen and you want to watch or stuff that we both want to watch together like that we don't necessarily want to both watch like but is there anything that you guys watch with your like partners or whatever Fionkies Fionkies um, is there anything that you guys watch together that you would recommend that we both would like what type of things are you into tell what? them me? Oh, God. Like, what's your, like, favourite, like, top three shows? Genres so or shows? Cute. What do you mean I'm cute? <laughs> Sorry. What am I doing? What's wrong? What am I doing? I don't know. You're cute today. It's without the glasses thing, isn't it? Right. Okay, so I take my glasses off for stuff because this is what I look like. You look great. It's, you just pull a different face. Oh, you look like your brother when you do that. That? Which one? I don't want to say. I don't want to say the name on... Oh god, <laughs> let's not go there. Okay, do you have, do you have, does anyone have any paranoid relatives? Oops. Yeah, I got four of them. Let's hope they don't watch this video. They don't. They don't mm. watch them. Whoop, sorry. Um, I keep wanting to, I think the camera's on the back and get it wrong because no, me plus technology does not work. Plus you don't have an iPhone, so. It's true, I've got a Samsung. Um, mine's better. Uh, tilt. Donkey. <laughs> sorry, my, hat, my arm's dying. We need one of those sticky things. It's called a selfie stick, but no, we don't. We're good. Yes, we do. Hey, three favorites. Right, oh. so I like. Do it. You take hold of that then. Hold it. Oh, my arm. God, you need to be fit to vlog, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> my strong arm as well. Um, so I think. Let's your angle. Please do that again. No, hold it again. Oh. Your angle is better than mine. That one? No, oh, that's too far away. This one. Makes your head look really big. My head is really big. Oh yeah, let's get in. Okay, sorry, I'm scratching my. It's fine. Go on. Um, film number one. No, not film. Talk what's about TV genre? shows. TV shows. Like, what's your favorite three TV shows? Oh God. Or like ones that you would want to watch other stuff like. Do you ever have this moment? You know the hashtag I relatable can. moment. I can edit this bit as well. Okay, you can. You're not going to, though, are you? And your arms are. Yeah, I've been typing all day. Three favorite TV shows. To... I don't watch a lot of TV, so uh, I'm gonna go with um, probably Stargate Atlantis. Mm -hmm. Did I have to duck out of the way of the notification? <laughs> no, so notifications come up at the top of my screen, but you don't. It's um, fine. It won't no, show. I, I know. I know how camera works. Uh, this is actually going okay. off to That's good. Um, right. Stargate Atlantis. Okay. Right, that's the first one. We so can I... watch all the Star Treks there on there on Netflix, like Star Trek Voyager. Are you gonna tell me you hate Star Trek Voyager? No Voyager. No, I, I like Voyager instead of Deep Space Nine. I hate Deep Space Nine. I can't stand it. Everything. I like Voyager though. There's like ten seasons of Voyager on there. Yes, I I quite like Ka Catherine Janeway as a as a role model character. Have you ever person. seen Orange Is the New Black? No. Did you so? Captain Janeway, or the, I can't remember her name, Catherine, what's her name? Catherine, Catherine Janeway. No, her name in real life. Yeah, Catherine? it's Catherine, and they made it really easy for her on the I script. I think it's time. Catherine Mullet, Mul oh, I, I can't think we of that. We have it. to watch it to find out. AJ, you're really high. I'm, <laughs> sorry. Um, but she plays the Russian redhead in Orange is the New Black, and she's lich called Red. She's so funny. But you'd actually find it really weird, because when I first watched it, I was like, oh my god, it's Captain Janeway. That doesn't make any sense to me. But she's like, um, like a, I don't know, like a, she's the cook, so she's like, like in charge, and she's like the top one in the prison. I can't imagine her accent, Russian. Oh, her uh, Russian is... that's for you. So, yeah, literally. It's, it's so funny. I, I wish I could say things like, you know, things I'll that are actually quite I'll show you in like a clip a bit later. Mm, Donata. That's Spanish. My God, that's not Russian at all. Anyway, go on. So we right. have Stargate Atlantis. So Stargate Atlantis is a good one. Um, I like stuff like that. Is your hand shaking because you're it's sore? You need to rest your elbow on something. This is how. But we got a really big sofa. <laughs> uh. Sorted. He's literally resting it on my book, which yes. is quite large. This book. AJ. I like The Walking Dead. Yeah, we haven't need to finish watching that or continue. We're on like season two. That was good. I'm not sure how I'm making of uh, what I'm making of Stranger Things at the minute. So we're on season two of Stranger Things. Um, I liked the first season. I think the second season's weird so far. I don't know. I think we've watched like three episodes. I'm not sure. Now. I'm having difficulty. The, the kids aren't really relatable. Everything seems no, a bit thin. No, I liked thin. them in the first one. 
Because they were, but the second one, I think, like... It's a bit forced. Yeah, I'm not I'm sure. I'm not enjoying the writing style. I don't think I'm a fan of um, Strange Things, I must say. I'm enjoying... You like Designated, Designated Survivor. Survivor. He's a fan. I know that... So Leanne, from Literary Diversions, who I've definitely mentioned earlier in this vlog. Maybe once or twice. Um, yeah, because I love her. Um, she really has recommended West Wing to us. Which is, I think, an American political thing. Okay. Which maybe is something that we should give a go. Okay. Um, also, what's the other one? House of Cards? Yeah. You said about that, actually. You said, if I'm enjoying uh, Designated Survivor, then I should watch House of Cards. Yeah. I did say we shouldn't watch them at the same time, like because House of Cards is uh, set in the White House, basically. The same as... Or well, it's like around that, but it's the same as kind of designated survivor. So we, I think it would get confusing if you try to watch both together. I kind of wish the angels were the reapers would be a film. The reapers and the angels. <laughs> I always get that one wrong. Okay. I've uh, definitely mentioned this on my channel. I think I read it last year. Did I reread? No, 2018. I reread it. It's geez. a zombie novel that I initially read like three years ago and gave it to AJ, and he read it and really loved it. So we like zombie TV shows. If you have any other recommendations apart from The Walking Dead, because that's really obvious. Yeah, it's like the go-to yeah, one. Yeah, like if you have other um, ones, because you like a few zombie novels that you've read. Yeah, a few of them are okay. The First Days? The First, first the Days first was days. good, yeah. So my problem with The First Days, um, thumbs up if you've read it. Um, the First Days... It's not that well known, I don't think. I really enjoyed it. It was, but... it was like a bee zombie book. Yeah. it was. Yeah, but it wasn't that the same... I don't know, there were some interesting people in it as well. There were I quite some liked characters. that it was I feel like this has turned into a whole different conversation. <laughs> but yeah, I did enjoy that. See, I actually side introduced of books. See, yeah, you I'm did. Good well this, I'm good this. Um gaming channel turned into book channel, what is yeah. that? Yeah. So yeah, so we enjoy that. I, I think, what else are we watching? We're watching Friends at the minute. So I have watched Friends all the way through, like, number, like, multiple times. Like, I love it. And AJ, you've seen, like, the odd episode, but you've never seen it all the way through. I know of it. That's the thing. I've yeah. got, like, a, it's like a passing... But I always do, like, quotes and stuff, don't I? And you're like... Knit, good woman, knit. That's my <laughs> new favourite quote now. I like that one. So we've so just started right. right at the beginning. So we're on, I think we're on, like, episode... 20 of season They've one. just said goodbye to Marcel. Yeah, I didn't know there was a storyline. No, you thought it was just like random episodes, whereas it's like a it's like a proper like soap opera kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah, I thought it was but like random like funny skits episodes. and scenes and like slapstick stuff, like the oh, two Ronnies yeah. and things. Oh yeah, that would make sense, I guess. That's what but I no, thought it was. No, it's one continuous story. I had no idea. I think it's just it's just very funny. What else are we watching? We're watching. Oh, um, American Horror Story. Which, I don't know how I feel about this season right now. So I liked it at the start. So we are currently on season, I believe it's season three? So we've watched... Yeah, it was season three. The Murder House. Which I hated. Yeah, we didn't like that one. We watched The Asylum, which we both liked a it bit more. But a lot Weird, better. but it was a lot better than the first one. It had Ed Adam Levine Levine in it, so... Yeah. And now we're watching um, season three, which is the... Um... Uh, which is... Coven. Coven. Yeah. Yeah. Which I enjoy, like, at parts, and then other parts it goes a bit strange. It's interesting, but I can't get over the fact that the, the woman in charge of the coven, not the not the old one, but the middle-aged one, was the same woman in What Women Want. Yeah, but the best part is... That like, scares me. Like, she's in most of it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. Anyway... We've been chatting on for a long time now about we have. random TV series. Anyway, <laughs> we better go and have dinner now because we're yeah. really hungry. Hungry, hungry, hungry. One thing I will say just really quickly, um, that I haven't really mentioned anywhere else, is that all from like my last video um, that I've posted as of now, um, which will be up already when you watch this, which will be my most disappointing books of 2019, all of my videos from now on are going to be um, subtitled, captioned, what do you call it? Captioned. No, but there's a, that, you know, CC. Oh, closed caption. Closed yeah, caption. Closed caption. So all of my videos will be in future because being half deaf and I appreciate that because, you know, I like subtitles. I have, we watch, I watch subtitles and everything basically. And YouTube is definitely a place where I can't really do that. But yeah, being half deaf, I get it. And I also just want to be able to include everybody. So from now on, all my videos will be 
um so I've already fine. done the last one I'm gonna try as well like maybe I'm I'm not gonna do very well at it um because there's so many of the videos like I'm literally I think I'm on 300 uploads now it takes so long like it's gonna take me a long time and it does take a long time per video which is absolutely fine like I totally understand and I'll, I will do that that's not a problem um but I will just say I'm gonna try what I'm gonna probably do is go to my most popular videos um and work my way through just because that way if that's the ones that people are watching I obviously want to be able to make them more accessible so um the videos i upload from now on will all be but i will go back and do my older ones that is a huge amount of work genuinely well i did that one and it was 16 minutes and it took me about an hour so yeah, like i don't know how i would do my vlog later. i mean to be fair i tend to like i Google use the auto automatic yeah like the ones that come up anyway and then i just go through and like change the um Firstly, do punctuation because it doesn't, and secondly, um, like change bits because like I think you say things and you didn't say those things. Yeah, does that to me all the um, time. But yeah, I'm gonna like I, that's my kind of goal because I I know what it's like if you're trying to if watch and like I can only imagine like I'm only half deaf and I'm, I I struggle sometimes to hear people so. I can only imagine, like, if you're deaf and you really want to be part of BookTube and you can't be because people aren't ca closed captioning, so I will definitely. Also, I will link a video down below that Jessie from Bowties and Books, Bowties and Books, yeah, um, did on their channel because, um, yeah, they talked about it a lot more, so um, I would recommend that video. Please go check it out. Um, but yes, I'm going to try my best to do that from now on, so hold me accountable to that. <laughs> So we are going to go and have dinner now and I will probably catch up with you again tomorrow. Morning guys, it is now Friday morning and it is approximately half past seven in the morning. I'm about to leave for work in like 10 minutes but I thought I'd quickly check in and say I didn't actually read anything else last night. Um, we ended up having dinner and going to bed. Um, but yeah, I do intend on reading quite a bit today. Um, I finish work at five um, and then I have a FaceTime date with um, Emily so I've got a couple of hours in between to be able to crack on also my video is going live tonight so I'm really looking forward to seeing how you all like that um, but yeah I've got to go to work today like I said um, but yeah I shall catch up with you all a bit later on have a good day Hey guys, so I look very different and look a bit like an egg because my face is frozen, hence why I'm speaking like this and my lips aren't working properly. I'm also, as you can tell, soaking wet, like literally like rat tails wet. I started walking home and I'm wearing like a fleece, well it's like sodden, like it's so wet. Um, and yeah, it wasn't a fun walk home. I have like a half an hour walk and I got soaked the entire way. Um, yeah, I look disgusting. There's literally, I don't know if you can see in the light properly, but like, look how wet my face is. I'm literally dripping with water. Um, and like, I could probably wring out my fleece top, to be honest. So yeah, that wasn't a great idea. Um, but that's the thing. My bag also has, um, it's like open at the top, but luckily my book doesn't appear to have gotten wet. Like, it's a little bit kind of like, you know when there's like moisture in the air and like pages get sort of, oh actually is that wet? No. Pages get kind of, um, I don't know, they look, a, they just sort of go a bit damp looking. But I'm hoping if I like pop it on the radiator while it's on in a minute, um, it will kind of dry out. So yeah, I also don't have my glasses on because literally my glasses got soaked. So that's fun. Um... Yeah, but now I'm finished for the weekend, so I can actually do some reading. I do intend on reading a bit more tonight, so I'm currently on page, I can't even see it, 95. So I read, what, 15 pages today? Way go me. I know I read most of that before work, and then I read a little bit on my lunch break, but there were people around, and I was chatting. So yeah, so I'm this much through, which is not very much at all. Um, I am really enjoying it, though, a lot. Um... But yeah, I am now done, like I said, so hopefully I can get some reading done. I don't think I'm going to finish another book before the end of the month because today is the 31st, so we only have today left, basically. And I don't think I'm going to finish anything else tonight, so 
that's fine. I'm going to try and read as much of this as I can. Um, I have, yeah, I'm just going to chill, I think. I am, um, I need to do my video for tomorrow, really, but that's fine. I can do that tomorrow, I think. I'm going to just edit tomorrow because I have it filmed already. Um, and my video will have gone live tonight as well, so I'll go and check in on the people who've commented on there. But yeah, love you guys. Um, let me know down in the comments below how your week had been. I know obviously this will be at the end of this is during a vlog and this is going on Wednesday. So let me know, did you have a nice weekend? My weekend has not happened yet, but let me know what you did and I will catch up with you guys once I've done some reading. Hey guys, so it is now 10 past eight. I went to edit my February TBR, which is due to go up tomorrow. And then I realized it's done it again, it's corrupted. So it's not the footage that's corrupted. It's the um, like picture of the wheel, like the video of the wheel that's corrupted. And because I've talked about it a lot in the video itself, like I keep mentioning that I'm gonna show it and I keep mentioning like talking about how I'm showing you things, I can't really upload it just without that because it wouldn't really make any sense so I'm gonna have to refilm it for the third time so that's really frustrating um and plus I'm gonna potentially get all new books and probably AJ is gonna be here oh we're gonna need to like pick a book for me so yeah I am a little bit annoyed <laughs> I'm gonna go and film it and then if that prompt comes up I will um like wait for AJ to come home and um, he can pick a book for me to read and then I will like do the outro after that if that makes sense because he'll be home in like an hour and a half um yeah that's frustrating I'm really really annoyed right now but I'm gonna film I'm gonna go film it get it out of the way get it done and then hopefully tomorrow I can just like crack on with editing it because I don't want to do it again um I'm gonna do it without that like whatever video because I just think if it's not working it's not working it's I can't make it work so I'm going to do it without the screenshot or the screen video recording um, and then hopefully next month I can work out how to do it I managed to do it fine for my little TBR but maybe it's because it's a bigger file um, I'll figure it out but I don't have time to do that before I film it again because I need to get it done so I can get it edited for tomorrow so I'm gonna go do that I'll catch up with you again I'm gonna have to cancel on poor Emily who like I feel bad but like I have to get this ed filmed because otherwise I'm gonna stress myself all night so yeah that's shit isn't it um but yeah I'm gonna go do that and then hopefully we get some good books again I have genuinely never regretted refilming a video so much in my life because that TBR if you've seen it or like I said I'll link it down below you'll know <laughs> wow that was a beast of a tbr like i actually don't even know where to start in fact i literally just ran downstairs because i have to wait for aj to come home and then we can film the clip because he did come up he has to pick me one i hope he's nice um i literally just ran on the stairs and was like need to get on with the good daughter so i can finish it asap <laughs> so i can crack on and start the next lot because oh my god do we have some beasties in there this girl is nervous. Wow. Yep. Let me know what your TBRs are for February. Like, do you have some plans? What are you reading right now? What are your... What's the biggest book on your TBR for this month? That's what I want to know down below. Yes, better get reading though. So, I'll catch up with you when AJ's home. Because, uh, we've got to do some filming with him. Morning, guys. So, it is... What day it's saturday um and i am about to film as you can tell this is my filming place um i got up at i don't know what time it is actually it's quarter to nine right now but i've got up a little bit earlier i'm really loving my hair today i don't really know why it looks so nice but it does <laughs> so i'm just preening um so yeah i'm like i said i'm just um sitting down to film Today my plan is to read as much of The Good Daughter as I can because I really need to crack on with my TBR because 
it's a big one this month and I don't think I'm going to manage to do it so I would like to give myself a bit of a head start so obviously today is the first and um, we only have today and tomorrow left of the readathon as well so I would absolutely love to be able to finish the good daughter by tomorrow um but we'll see how that goes I don't know I think I've I've I managed to get to page 150 last night I am absolutely loving it every like twist and turn is wonderful I was literally lying in bed last night explaining it to AJ and trying to like tell him what was happening because I was like I need to talk to somebody I love it like actually love it um I'm feeling a bit like ugh today like I feel like everything's all over the place but I'm really excited about the, the weekend AJ is finally off his overtime so he's working today but he's only working until like five I think so we will actually get in like proper after, like evening together so my plan is to spend the day um like filming I probably should edit my video because I think it's supposed to go up today but we'll see how that goes um I might not put my TBR up until tomorrow I haven't really decided yet depends how I get on with it um but yeah I just don't want to like waste my whole day um today editing if that makes sense like I want to crack on with some reading um I do have lots of like chores to do so I'm going to be doing um like four lots of washing probably um I always leave my washing until my days off um so yeah I'm also um yeah just really enjoying the day today I think um it'll be better if AJ was here but he's off tomorrow as well so we're gonna probably go for breakfast again so I'll probably vlog um I don't know where we'll go maybe we'll go back to McDonald's who knows um but yeah I'm excited I can't actually wait so yeah we're just gonna chill um we have meal prepping to do tonight like meal planning we do like a month's meal plan ahead of time so we're gonna do that tonight when he gets in and probably order like a big delivery of food for like the big weekly you know well we do like a big delivery shop at the beginning of every month um so we'll probably do that as well um but yeah i'm gonna crack on and do some filming and then i'm gonna go get some breakfast and yes i will catch up with you a bit later on when i have some more to tell you but yeah all in all shaping up to be a good saturday hey guys so i have now finished filming my two videos i am currently um converting my footage um and then i will be editing my tbr video which this is that's not what i filmed this morning but i will be doing that from last night i've got to page 170 in the good daughter by karen sorter which i am adoring right now like genuinely this is probably going to be my best book of the year so far which is not hard because i had a rubbish january um but yeah i have 330 pages of this left to read i know that there's a twitter sprint i think this afternoon um is it like six uh i don't really know um so maybe i'll join in with that uh, if not it will be the one tomorrow which is i think at eight o'clock tomorrow night but either way i'm going to do one of the sprints this weekend because that's one of my prompts i also need to take a picture of my reading space so maybe i'll do that if i it depends i'll figure out what i'm going to do i probably will take a picture of it tomorrow um maybe i'll get ages to take a picture of me reading which he can do tomorrow when i'm he's home because he's not working tomorrow um but yeah so my plan now is to wait till this converts i'm going to read some and then i've just had breakfast so i'm all ready to go and then i'm going to um yeah try and read some edit my tbr and get that scheduled hopefully by some point today um and yeah then crack on i'm really excited and i can't quite wait to um share it with you all because i want you all to feel my pain for my tbr because it's massive but yes we'll see how it goes i have two days to try and finish this book do you reckon i can do it hmm we'll soon find out so i'm starting to think that this tbr video is absolutely not going to get done because i just went to edit the video i filmed last night and the lighting is so bad you can't actually even see me so i'm going to film for the fourth and final time um because i know the videos i filmed this morning the lighting was fine so I'm like I'm gonna sit in the same place we're gonna do it again and if the AJ pick comes up I will put in the um, bit that I did with him last night because I filmed it slightly differently I did it like kind of vlog style so I'll put that up because um, he's picked me a book and I know what that book is so yeah you guys honestly <laughs> This TBR this month is mad. Right, I'm going to try not to like, I'm going to try and keep most of the books that are on there the same, I guess, because 
like I've mentioned many times it was a horrible horrible one and I need to also read them so um, I obviously don't want to like keep messing around and like repicking books but at this point I can't put the video up so I need to so I'm gonna film it now and then get editing because oh my goodness me I could cry right now so guess what had to film it for the fourth, fifth time, fifth time now of the TBR and it's finally done and I'm not doing it again. To be honest, I could even just post myself like just talking like this into the camera because it annoyed me that much. I decided just to go with eight books in the end. I was going to go with 11 but I'm letting myself off for January because it was a bit of a shitstorm and I'm okay with it. So I filmed again. I'm going to edit it tonight but first of all, it is home. I'm eating again, the second time you see me sitting in this chair eating. Does anyone else butter rich tea biscuits? Mm, yes. That's weird. Who doesn't butter rich tea biscuits? It's weird. Anyway, um, so we are actually now going to do the meal plan I was telling you about earlier. Um, we're going to prep for the month of February, meal plan ideas, and we're going to do a food shop online and get it delivered tomorrow, hopefully. But yes, um, just thought I'd tell you that I have to... I filmed it again, because of the lighting again, but we're all good now, I hope, and if it goes up and you hate it, I don't even care anymore because I've flipped and filmed it so many times, and I have a different book every time, God only knows what much you're going to end up reading, so, yay. Anyway, catch up with you soon. Hey guys, it is Sunday the 2nd of February, Yes. and we have come to Harvester for breakfast, because it's a Sunday and we're off, um, I already hurt my hand. She has. Yay for me. Anyway. Yeah, she's we'll getting on the bike you. and then like all twonked and stuff. Yeah. We'll see you when we come out the other side. Or maybe we'll show you what we have. Who knows? We'll soon find out. Okay, so we have a yummy breakfast. AJ has a wheat bit and a muffin over there with jam. Then he has his classic breakfast, which he decided to get a four ounce steak with. And no tomato added extra hash brown. I got the same minus the massive steak because, you know, it's breakfast, right? Then muffins, not muffins, crumpets and cocoa pops. And we're very excited, aren't we? Yummy. Yum, 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 yum. So, she's stolen my bike. <laughs> she's on the bike. Hey guys, so we are home now. As you can tell, it's a bit dark, even though it's literally 20 to 2 in the afternoon. It's kind of like a bit weird. So we went out to Harvester for breakfast, as you saw, and then I went to Lidl's and got our kind of weekly, or at least good amount of shopping. Got a lot of cleaning stuff, because we need to do some cleaning. Um... But yeah, today I'm pretty much now, I'm going to edit my TBR video, which hopefully I'll have done by, say, 3 o'clock. And then I'm going to try and do like a six-hour readathon to myself to try and get this bloody book finished. <laughs> no, I'm really enjoying um, It's The Good Daughter by Karen Sauter. I'm really, really enjoying it. I have, I'm literally halfway through. I have 250 pages to go, and today is the last day of the readathon, so... Ideally, I'll finish it tonight. I don't know if that will happen. I'd love it to happen. That would be great. Um, I'm going to try and read until I finish it, basically. Um, because AJ's got some stuff to do, haven't you? Yep. He has a pillow on his face right now, which yep. is interesting. Um, but yeah, I just thought that would be interesting. I might crack on and to do that. Um, one thing I'd like to have advice about, if anyone is interested is this i'm finding this month particularly well say this month january i've really struggled with the balance between booktube and reading and like i think the thing is right so when i live with my dad he worked nights and i worked days so in the evenings i had loads and loads of time and whatever and then now i live with somebody who hello hi i live with him over there I'm so here. um i live with someone who like I want to spend time with not that I didn't want to spend time with my dad but like I had more time if that makes sense whereas now it's like sometimes in the evening we don't want to like read I don't want to read I just want to sit and like do nothing or like chill or whatever and so I find it a bit difficult 
to know what to do especially when I, I think one of the things I think was because January I was doing a video every other day and now I'm doing three videos a week but that's not actually that much less content wise um I do try and do as much as I can while I do at work but then I normally would read and stuff I don't know I'm just really struggling with the balance so I feel like I'm just not reading as much or well, I'm reading but in much smaller amounts like like at a time um but yeah also procrastination is a thing that is just literally gripping me and just keeping me there because apparently scrolling on twitter is a thing that I just do all the time now but yeah, so if you have any advice on that, do please let me know because it's becoming a bit of a struggle. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to edit my video and then I'm going to crack on and try and read as much as I can. Hey guys, so it is now, I believe, five past eight. I'm just currently taking part in the reading sprint that is hosted by Victoria on the Thousand Pages Readathon Twitter page. Um, so like I said, today is the last day of the readathon. I now have just got to page 409, so I have about 90 pages to go, and I'm determined to finish it tonight. Firstly, so that I can read the 1,000 pages, and secondly, because that way I will have um, finished another book, and I can start my like February TBR tomorrow, which I'm excited about. I've managed to get my video edited, so it is currently just... Um, exporting and then I will get it all uploaded hopefully tonight and get it all scheduled ready for tomorrow while I'm at work but yeah I'm really enjoying this book so far there's lots and lots of things happening twists and turns I wasn't expecting so yes I'm enjoying it a lot and I'm looking forward to hopefully finishing it tonight hey guys so it is now half past nine on the final day of the readathon and I hope I took part in the sprints that Victoria hosted which was amazing and I managed to complete I'm um, a little bit after I think I had 45 pages left after the sprints finished but I basically have finished The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter I've completed the readathon um, I have done all of the prompts I read a thousand pages and I gave this a five star so it was a fantastic end to the reading I loved this book I think it is so well written I can't quite understand how this is written by the same author of pieces of her which I DNF'd earlier and I really didn't like but you know what we're gonna start afresh with this one this is amazing I absolutely adored it it was a five star read for me for sure this is basically twists and turns throughout you never know what's gonna happen it just completely comes out of nowhere and it is so good um, I don't even think I could explain it that much I will talk about it more in my wrap up at the end of February but yeah I loved this book and I'm so glad that I read it for the readathon also a massive thank you to Victoria for recommending me this one in my um, booktubers recommend my TBR because like I said this one was fantastic and yeah now I'm going to my dinner is currently cooking, it's nearly finished, so I'm going to go and eat that with AJ and then we are going to probably go to bed because I have to work early tomorrow morning. And yeah, so I just want to say a massive thank you to Victoria for hosting such a wonderful readathon. I'm so, so proud of you. You were fantastic. I cannot wait to do more in the future, which I'm sure you will. And again, a huge, huge thank you. Thanks to you guys for watching this vlog. Um, like I said, I'll be back next time for another video, but give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time for another one. Bye guys.